Hello and welcome to the sixth section of the course Wireshark Troubleshooting Steps. Now, in this section, we are going to take a look at various points. We will learn about various troubleshooting steps using Wireshark and also explain you about these troubleshooting steps. Tackle network anomalies with baseline traffic. Now, in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We will learn about network anomalies and then I'll also explain you about this. So now what you can do here, first of all you can start the Wireshark graphical user interface and uh, capture some traffic inside it and then I am going to show you that how you can perform these kind of network anomalies. So guys I am inside my main operating system and uh, let's start Wireshark inside it. So you can search for Wireshark here, click here and open it. So this is Wireshark and uh, you can select your interface here. So as I'm using Wi-Fi, so this is my interface. Double click here and open it. So now you can see here that uh, now it is capturing the data. So what we can do here, what is baseline, how you can filter the packets inside it. For example, if I don't want any local traffic inside Wireshark, I only want remote traffic or the traffic which is going through my router I only want that traffic so how you can filter out that traffic right that is basically called baseline filter so what you can do here let me close it or let me stop it let me click here click start continue without saving now let me ping my router so let me start the command prompt here and I can type here ping space 192.168.0.1 which is my router IP address hit enter now you can see here that now it is pinging my router all right now let me close it now let me stop the capturing process and you will see some ICMP packets here so let me type here in the traffic filter like ICMP hit enter and here you can see that these are the ICMP traffic available inside my packets here. So you can see here that this is my window IP address and this is the IP address of the router. Now what if I only want the traffic of my router inside the Wireshark. So how we can do this? How I can filter out the traffic? That is also called baseline filters. So I need to find out the MAC address of my router so let me select this packet because in this packet the source is my router and you can simply double click here right so you can gather information about uh, the mac address so you can see that the mac address of my router because my router is dealing so this is the mac address now uh, close it drag it up here you will find out the MAC address here. So this is the MAC address. You can right click here, click copy and uh, click value. So I got the value here. Now what you can do here, you can simply click on capture, click options, select the interface you are working on and this is the capture filter for selected interface. So I've selected the interface. Now you can type here ether space host and you can paste here what we have copied so this is the MAC address of my router so now it will focus on the traffic which is going through my router it will not provide the local traffic of my system so ether space host space the MAC address of my router and uh, now you can click start continue without scanning right let me close it so now it will basically provide information about uh, the traffic which is going through my router for example if I'm visiting a website so it will provide information about uh, the web server right it will provide information about the source which is my system as well as it is provide information about itself right so you can see here that this is basically the traffic of my router you can see the IP address in the source so that's how you can capture the traffic which is going through your router this is all this is called basically baseline analyzer or baseline filtering process now what you can do here you can simply click on capture you can stop it click on capture click options and then you can close it and then click close 
now we're back to the normal